Breast implants are now being linked to a certain type of cancer that Tops Health News this morning. Apparently, the cancer is known as large cell lymphoma, and it grows in the scar tissue created by implant surgery. Now, researchers are saying the chances of getting this cancer are rare. In fact, of the millions of women who have received implants, just 60 cases have been reported. This morning, we have Dr. Robert Kuski, the co-founder of Arizona Breast Cancer Specialist here in the Valley with us to talk more about it. Your phone was ringing off the hook yesterday. Yeah, pa patients are in a panic, and there are many, many women in Scottsdale and the Phoenix area with these silicone implants, and they're all wondering, what is my risk of getting this rare cancer? Well, you said one in three, and that is significantly high, are concerned about this because they do have silicone. Well, one in three of my patients have silicone implants, so mm -hmm. it's very common, and they don't call this Silicone Valley because of computer chips. <laughs> there you go. They call it because of breast implants. So, but uh, it's only one in 100,000 women will get this rare uh, cancer. So I think women need to be aware of this possibility, but not in a panic. What are you, what did you tell them? I mean, with that phone ringing, I mean, what were you, what were you telling these ladies? I was telling them that it does not feel like breast cancer. Breast cancer shows up like a marble in front of the silicone implant. You can usually feel it. So self-breast examination is very important. But this lymphoma shows up more as a, a thickening of the tissue or a hardening of what they think is the implant, but it's actually a rare white blood cell cancer in front of the implant, a smooth thickening rather than a marble. Okay, let's talk about the symptoms because you're, you're going there, but from what I've read and what I heard about yesterday is that it's right there along the scar line. Is that true? It's uh, along the surface of the silicone implant. So we don't know exactly what causes this, but I have a theory. Okay. I think that the body senses that this is a foreign object in, in the breast. Sure. And so it sends in the white blood cells to kind of attack it. And these white cells are very active. And if one of those cells gets too active, it can become cancer. So it's very rare, but I think that's how it develops. So if somebody is waking up with us this morning thinking, okay, uh, the symptoms that you've mentioned and they're, they're feeling them, what can they do? Well, they need to be forewarned and forearmed, but not in a panic. And I think they need to do self-breast examination and not just forget about it a year from right. now, but realize that this is a rare possibility. And if they feel a change in their breast, uh, something that hasn't been there before, present it to their doctor. Would it be a change though where the scar is or in, in, in the breast altogether? It could be anywhere in the breast. Okay. Because it, it wraps around that implant. And would it be painful? Usually not. The, the hallmark of cancer- That's what it, makes it so difficult to detect. Yeah, the hallmark is a painless lump for breast cancer. And this is also a painless thickening of the breast. Okay, well some great information. Thank you very much, Dr. Kuski. We appreciate your time You're this welcome. morning. Very much so. Kara, I can only imagine a, a lot of people concerned about this, and yeah. rightfully so, but when you think about the numbers, again, he said one in 100,000 women and just 60 cases reported here. But again, be armed, not mm -hmm. panicked. Well, and it's no surprise his phone was ringing off the hook yet. Yeah, no Thanks. kidding.